here I, I just came in from doing a video outside and I saw a mailman came by as I was recording and he handed me this and this is a controller I picked up from uh, Ally Express this is supposed to be the brand new um, the brand new uh, 30, chan uh, 30 channel DMX easy controller with 30 amps max of uh, power that can run through the board um, I have to say, I haven't even, I haven't opened it yet, uh, so you guys are going to get the first look. Um, I cut the tape. This was very well boxed, as far as I can tell. There, the tape was all along the bottom. Every edge was sealed, so you couldn't get into it. So, here, we'll just open it up, and you're getting the first look at it. So, it's coming with, it has instruction, uh, probably a simple instruction sheet. Um, and basically it says constant decoder operations and welcome to the product it can the input power can be from anywhere from 9 volts to 24 volts so it looks like 5 amps is out on this board i cannot use 5 amp dumb rgbs with this board that's okay um i have lots of other 12 volt stuff the um then it shows you how to, there's basic functions that you turn on the number 10 and uh, and it does different things. So we'll put that off to the side and we'll take this out of the box and I'll probably have to break the seal. I can't do that whenever I am, whenever I have the camera in my hand. So it's going around, has the uh, anesthetic bag with, uh, with one of the uh, uh, moisture sucker uppers things. Um, so we'll be right back. Let me open this up. All right, and here we are. We have, um, first of all, it says, uh, do not eat, throw away now. So I'll throw that away right now. Um, looking at the board here. Okay, so we have our DMX dip switch. Let's let's go this side first. Obviously, this here is where is, all the Here looks like is. our power um, for the board. It looks like there is uh, room to put two separate DC positive inputs and two separate negative DC inputs. So looks like we have uh, looks like we have um, on the board here. They are labeled, which is good news. Um, I don't use the three prong XLRs at all. I never have, and I never will, um, unless they come in a something that I have to convert over, and I'll use a network wire for. But it looks like they've labeled the ground, the positive, the and the neutral for the board so all i have to do is turn this board over remove the solder points on here suck up the solder and uh, and once those are out then i can just use those through holes and um, and make my connection to uh the dmx oh let's clear that up yeah the dmx in and the dmx out and i can have my two rj 45 connectors right there, uh, zip tied right to the board or heat, uh, uh, hot glued to the board. That'd probably be easier. Now let's see. We've got on over here. We have our. They usually have the crystal chip there, and here's a, here's an I, here's a couple different IC chips, um, and some LED status indicators. I will not understand what those do just yet unless I read the manual, which I'm sure we'll be doing here in a little bit. Uh, I'm curious what this here is because if if I'm thinking it's possible that this could be right here whoop, right there could be um, I've got a piece of tape on her uh, this could be an input for signal meaning that DMX could run right there and I could just solder to that pad there and not have to worry um, but once again that's a little bit more reading um, also it kind of looks like there is a 5 volt ground of some sort. It's possible that you could convert this to 5 volt. I'm not sure if you can. That would be a bonus for me. Um, and then obviously we have our dip switch setting, our typical DMX dip switch. And um, the next thing I need to do is uh, grab some dumb RGBs and see if this thing will fire right up for us. All right, I uh, realized after I started hooking up these... Uh, pigtails for the uh, for the extra uh, dumb RGB nodes that uh, I didn't show the bottom side of the board so I'm going to do that right now and uh, looking at the bottom side of the board um, you can see where you have power coming in 
and this is the positive, and then this is the uh, neutral. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me double check. Yes, that's the. This is the positive, and this looks like a nice wide beam area for you to uh, put plenty of power through. Now, uh, the board. I did read the instructions. The board does not support five volt usage, uh, which is kind of sad um, because I thought it did. The other thing too that I learned was. Um, uh, there, the board isn't marked very well for uh, your nodes, but you have to get down in here. I'll clear up the picture, and and I'll grab a pointer here. And in this picture, you can see you can see DC plus, you can see R three, G three, B three. That that signifies the output number. So they have labeled these for you, starting on this side of the board. This is number one. And the DC voltage is here, the red is here, green, and then blue. So it goes from right to left looking at the board this way. Um, I like the setup of the board. It does have 10, uh, 10 outputs. What I have here is I have what's supposedly a computer power supply that I hacked. This was a freebie. Uh, it says 16 amps maximum on the 12 volt rail and 36 amps max on the 5 volt rail. Um, this used to be used in the display last year, but I, it did have some trouble with it. It liked kicking out whenever the controller pulled in more amps than, than what it should. Um, I experienced the same thing whenever I uh, hooked it up with this board and added uh, an extra set of dumb RGBs here. I connected them up, and there's 50 of them on this set. There's only a, 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 a few small ones here. And then I have a, this is a set of icicle RGBs that I had Ray make. Um, <clears throat> so for the test, I only have these three here. And uh, as I turn this on here, here's the switch. We see an LED status indicator. And um, this, I am guessing this signifies power. Um, and then I assume that this green one here is going to, uh, signify the signal. See where it says signal on the board there. I was hoping that maybe that I could just jump right onto the board there and put my DMX in, but it doesn't look like I can. Uh, anyway, so uh, that's the first look. There's power running to it. I'm going to flip this dip switch here on the left. This is number 10. And immediately as I hit that, um, I have a nice uh, flow of color coming from the different RGBs. Let's uh, take this one. It has a longer cord, so I'll move it over here. And uh, I believe that there's different uh, tests, but I think one of the neatest things about this board is that it actually has on the bottom along here the LEDs that signify what channel is currently being lit. I think that's very interesting and very neat because if these are tied in with the um, MOSFET here, then when there is an issue with a channel, we'll be able to tell just by looking at these LED indicators. Um, I am pleased with the board. Uh, it does appear to work uh, pretty decent. Um, my issue was with my power supply, not with the board. So um, I'm pretty happy with the way that this is set up. I'll probably order maybe two or three more of these controllers. Uh, they are $39. I'll add the link in down below in the description of the video. Um, I ordered, I believe, on January 2nd. It did arrive uh, via the e-packet, like it says here. You can see it was sent out China Post, um, the e-packet service, and uh, delivered by... U.S. Postal Service today. Um, I wish it did say the, the date that it was shipped on here, but it does not. Uh, but I'm happy with it in any event. Um, oh, look, they put the value of it on here as well. Look at this. Um, RGB controller, uh, the weight size, and the value in U.S. dollars is, they put it as 10. So I don't have to pay, I don't believe I have to pay any kind of import tariff for this item. So once again, I'm pretty happy with this board. Um, as long as the maximums hold out, I think that this is something that I would upgrade um, my controllers to be uh, in the future. 
and I probably, like I said, I would. These are definitely coming out. I'll just desolder the boards, take everything off, and then I'll add in my new uh, RJ45 connectors, and then I'll have a board here, which costs less than you can get from any U.S. supplier, and can run more LED RGBs than any other board. So, um, for the bang for the buck, for forty bucks, this or for thirty-nine dollars, this is a hell of a deal. So, all right, guys, have a good one. I'll let you go. Bye.